delving into the, to the satellite uh, resource data selection process, um, we will typically review five key factors for determining the robustness of a satellite uh, reference data set. Uh, so the first one, concurrent correlation with site data. So um, how strong is the correlation between, between site and satellite data? Uh, Long-term consistency. So what processing methodologies are used and is it consistently applied across the, uh, the whole data range? Um, data time span and recency. So do we, do we have data for one solid cycle, which is approximately 11 years, and is that data series up to date? Um, validation records. So uh, is the satellite data validated against site or other sources for the region? And spatial resolution. So does, does the resolution of the data allow for an accurate representation of the site resource? Um, an example of testing some of these factors, uh, we'll look into both the concurrent and long-term uh, site data to, to satellite comparison. So the, the graphs here show the monthly concurrent correlation between site and satellite data. Uh, we, we looked at three sites, each of them correlated against three independent satellite data sources. Uh, the strength of the, each correlation is determined by the coefficient of determination, which is the R squared value. Uh, for a monthly analysis, we will typically look for an R squared value of 0.99 or greater. Um, what's important to highlight here is that for site B, uh, only satellite source one has a sufficiently strong correlation to be used as a, as a reference data source. Um, uh, however, for, for site A and site C, uh, you could have multiple sources um, that, dis and that display a strong correlation with the site data. And that, that really uh, highlights the importance of, of completing checks on the data to ensure that it's suitable for, for each site. Mm -hmm.